Yeah, thank you very much for the warm words and uh, welcome. I, I really do feel privileged being here, uh, coming coming the way down from, from Germany and uh, tell you a little bit uh, about our UK initiatives. Uh, I, I try to build a bridge between, you know, being very strong in the UK, but being part of a, of a global company and that has, I think, two very interesting aspects. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a couple of slides because I really feel um, that I need to talk a little bit about our competencies uh, and then really point out what makes, what makes supply chain so important in these days. Uh, before that, I really probably need to tell you a little bit about what is Scheffler doing because um, you may have heard about our three famous brands, which is uh, Ina, Look and FAG, but I mean, being here, being guest in London on the Olympics, I felt well, it makes a lot of sense to show you where we are. Um, day by day, you see our products, uh, not in reality, but as you can see, the London Eye here, Wembley Stadium, and the retractable roof in Wembley. There are three main examples of uh, Scheffler products bearings, be this plain bearings or be this roller bearings, that make the world turn. This is very much our motto and vision is together we move the world so that you can run the you can uh, move the world and uh, so we see our our vision going further uh, as you can see here uh, Scheffler provides bearings from the smallest size of one millimeter in diameter uh, anyone who has experienced dental drilling knows what I'm talking about up to four meters in diameter going into various applications as you can see here and uh, it is just interesting to see that most of our customers have already made presentations. I'm going to meet them later on anyway, but as you can see here from various different industries, uh, including wind torque turbines, uh, we supply our products. This is the industry side of our business, uh, but another huge pillar on our business is the automotive section. Uh, and as you can see, coming from the bearing industry, Scheffler certainly is dedicated on friction reduction, which goes in hand to CO2 improvements. And as you can see, just a couple of examples of today's engines. On the left-hand side, you can see components going into valve actuation, valve train applications. So more or less all the cars that we see, uh, be this in the UK, be this in, in Europe, be this in North America, contain products of Scheffler. And going further to the right-hand side, under the brand name of Look, we see double clutches, uh, dual-mass flywheels, etc., and followed by our FAG brand. Once it comes to wheel bearings, uh, we know uh, certainly this is a huge field of application uh, to our FAG colleagues. Going further, uh, and I think this is certainly uh, one of the um, probably one of the most important slides I really want to show you, talking about global supply chain excellence. So being strong in the UK certainly helps being regional. And one of the statements made by our owners is in the region for the region. And I think the same would apply for GKN as well. I mean, you have a similar footprint as Scheffler has. So I think talking about the UK business, I mean, this is only one piece of the puzzle. Generally speaking, we're talking about global businesses. Over the last 10 years, the number of what we call world engine programs have tripled. Uh, and what we really have to make sure is that our supply chain doesn't only work in the UK for one of our customers, be this Nissan as, as for an example, uh, but making sure that the same quality, the same supply chain, the same logic applies in North America, in Japan, upcoming China, and so on and so on. So, this is probably one of the strongest assets in today's environment to have a strong global footprint to make sure that the supply chain is not a local, but a global understanding and a global responsibility for us. So, and as you can see here, our footprint is very well distributed among the globe, and that is one key to succeed in global supply chain. Going further, uh, again, I really want to just touch on this, but I think, again, talking about global supply chain, the, the right-hand side portion is probably even more important, as you can see, our, our revenue growth over the last three years. But what it shows is really the regional split of our revenue. 
And as you can see here, uh, within, within last year, our, uh, say, say about 60% of our revenue was still, was still made in Europe, so-called. Uh, if we go back 10 years, it was probably 75% that we made in Europe. And just from our long-term planning going into 2020-ish, uh, it will be less than 50. So that explains the needs of a global supply chain, making sure that our products will succeed in the growth uh, markets, and particularly we're talking about Asia Pacific. But again, leading over then to our UK facilities, as you can see them here, I'm not naming all of them, but uh, starting at least with our uh, facility, like Neckley, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to talk this in, in Welsh, because my Welsh is not really working well. Uh, but as you can see, as you can see here, there are many footprints in the UK. Uh, and finally, you see on the right-hand side is our Baden Corporation being very, very strong in the uh, in the aerospace business. But generally speaking, we do supply a lot of automotive and industry parts amongst the UK. And just one example, I really want to tell you uh, before I then end my presentation, it really is our facility in Wales. Uh, over the last three years, we've invested between three to four million euros of investment, making sure this, lead, this plant is going to be a lead plant for our Tepid business, uh, going into the valve train applications of more or less all uh, automotive applications. And as you can see on the right-hand side, we are still very successful since we've introduced these investments. Uh, I think it's a very strong, dedicated engineering uh, facility uh, and very successful so far. And again, here, I don't really go through this in detail, but uh, I, was very, I was very positively surprised to listen to this morning what the dedication of your politicians here in the UK is. And again, uh, with my beginning statements, we're talking about global businesses. If you want in the UK to be successful, make sure the environment in the UK is, is attractive, is interesting for global companies that need to have a regional footprint in all the main uh, markets and UK obviously within Europe we heard this many times is one of the main and important markets for the automotive industry and we need to make sure the boundaries uh, are well understood and applied for global companies such as Chef Lays. and last but not least again surprised to hear uh, yeah how can can we as a company uh, connect us to the upcoming generation. I mean, I'm talking about my kids already, and they're certainly not interested in engineering. That I, I, can, I can promise. But how to attract our business to pupils, to students. We obviously, we're taking part in various programs. As you can see here, see inside manufacturing, very successful over the last two years. 50, 60 people came into our facilities and really get their hands on our products, get their hand about on our production. And I think this is key and essential uh, that the industry and the politicians go hand in hand and make the UK uh, an attractive place for engineering and for production. Thank you very much.